Hello. Earlier we had seen Maltigo, an information gathering tool. Uh, in this session, we're going to understand one more tool that is OSINT framework, which is open source intelligence. Now you see this framework is basically gives you, you know, enormous information about your target on a single platform. So this is a website. You can go to this URL osintframework.com and you will see that there's so much uh, of records then you can pin out and can gather information so if you are interested in your target uh, that you want to know that what username your target is using then you can find the username website such as username search engines and there are so many okay you can gather it uh, so if you are interested in some of uh, the IP address information, you can find the relevant, uh, you know, information about IPv4, IPv6, the geolocations, uh, the loggers, uh, blacklist IPs, and uh, so many other things. Uh, such as uh, you are also interested in um, like harvesting email, then you can have these email uh, uh, web pages. You can go for uh, that's them. That's them will give you the specific user behind the email address that you are providing in the search bar. So if I click on that, um, then it will give you that kind of UI you will see. Uh, there is another website known as Hunter. Well, Hunter will give you, you know, it will harvest the, uh, the all uh, IP, uh, sorry, all email addresses of an organization that you're gonna provide here. So if I, for an example, if I provide google.com and click on find the email address, then it will find the relevant uh, email addresses of um, uh, people who are working in Google, uh, such as this, that's them, where you can, we will provide the email address and then search, it will give you the uh, person or the, or, the, uh, or the individual that is behind that email address. So this OSINT framework is really very, very, uh, you know, good tool where you can find information on a very single, uh, you know, platform. And there is a malicious file analysis where you can, you know, analyze, an analyze your uh, malware. So there is a, a virus total as well. Let me see that hosted automated analysis. And you will see there is a virus total. It, it will directly redirect you to the website virus total where you just need to provide the hash of the malware and it will give you the automated analysis. So there are so many IRC websites are there then you can go for dark web if you are interested in Tor and uh, I2P networks. Um, there are certain documentation related to Metasploit and Burp suits. Uh, there's so many actually you can have a practice on it. Uh, just uh, search OS anti framework and you will get a whole lot of thing. You need to practice it. I cannot show you each and every individual entity here. So just look after uh, OS Anti Framework. It is a good tool. Okay. The second tool that we're gonna see in this session uh, will basically uh, Recon NG. So let me open Recon NG. Uh, you can go for application, Parrot, and information gathering, and there is Recon NG. It is pre-installed in any of the Debian system, even if you use Kali, Parrot, or any other. It is there in the uh, information gathering module. Either way, you can also open Recon NG with the help of this terminal. You just need to type Recon NG, and there you go. So this Recon NG is a reconnaissance tool, uh, which is also very similar to that of Maltigo. Maltigo works on API transforms, uh, where this Recon NG also works with API. So it has several modules of that API, and with that API, you can find uh, you know information. So if you are interested in uh, host an M2 IP address, there is an API available. If you want to know that uh, how many, where this organization is uh, in the social media, then you can have a, a specific API to um, search on it. Okay. So let's see how can we uh, use this Recon NG. Let me clear the screen. So you will see Recon NG default, you will see. You can type help to get some introductory, you know, um, uh, what you can say the topics okay so if you are if you want to add some domain you can use add domains and google.com this is going to be google.com is added to the domains now if you type uh, show domains it will show you all the domains that is there so the google.com has been you know uh, recently been provided so it is there in the google in the domain 
Uh, the same way you can use uh, something called as modules. Modules are nothing but your API. So just type show modules and you will see that there's a whole lot, lot of list for APIs. So all these are basically gives you the information. So uh, specifically, if you are interested in WUIS command, so recon domains contact WUIS box will give you the information or domain contact information. Uh, similar to that of voice command so let's see how can we use this you know api so let's let's do this so if i use like if you are interested in contact information of a domain so you can use uh, um, show modules let me I, I do not remember actually i just need to uh, where exactly it is uh, this somewhere here this one so you just need to copy it just copy it and with the help of use command you can use this whiz box okay so let's wait for uh, five to ten seconds it will yeah so right now i am inside the whiz box and now to know about this specific uh, you know this specific uh, recon what you can do you can use show info to understand what basically this api is all about it will give you the description and all so you can see that uh, um, tim toms has been introduced this whiz box and uh, and uh, so basically it is using air invoice database to fetch all the information about google.com uh, so here it is the option um, either way you can use show options instead of info okay so it you will give you will get this one so currently uh, we uh, current value is google.com however if you find default here then you need to set this okay and you can set with the help of set command okay so right now it is set to google.com so you just need to run it so when you run it you will see that uh, it is it will the recon engine will fetch information from the air in uh, database okay so it is it is finding the um, stuff for the google.com okay it was it is finding the contact information so uh, yeah it will take some time you can see here that some informations are getting so this is one way you can do so let's say uh, I'll, I'm gonna back it. So let's say if you are interested in uh, like something called as uh, let me do like host address also. If you want to map from host address to IP address, what you can do is there is a specific module for it. So let me search for host address also. So this is the one. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna use command, and then I'm in the resolve. And then you need you need to do show options. Apologies for the yeah here okay the right now it is current value is also being you know set so if it is not then you need to do it with the help of set command so you can directly run it run it and you will see that it is mapped from google.com to 142.250.76.206 is the ip address of google.com so let's say if you are interested in uh, in something like um, uh, ssl send that means uh, that how many domains uh, by which google.com can be called so uh, how many domains are there for google.com so if you want to use it so just back it you can use show modules one more time and uh, there is a specific uh, api for that there is something called as ssl sin um yeah this is the one so here i'm gonna copy it i'm gonna use it and then uh, take two or three seconds and uh, uh so i'm so apologies for this late all right so let's see that what options i'm having sorry okay come on okay so here it is you can see here that it is default it is not set so you need to set it with the help of this set source google.com and you can see that now it has been set you can type show options again one more time and you will see that it has been set now just type run and you will see that google.com can be called or it has been associated with how many how many aliases all right so quickly we're gonna see different names for google.com take some time uh, you can see here so these are you know different google.com for different uh, uh, countries uh, it's a, a country level domain you can see ukjp cl uh, co ca analytics.com and there's so many the list is on right 
So this is SSL send. One more uh, thing that you had seen, I, I'm, I'm not very sure about it, but let me try one more time. So here there is a reporting. You can see that you can report it. So whatsoever thing you are doing here, you can actually report it. So basically how you can report it, uh, you just need to use uh, use command and then reporting uh, obligate HTML. You, you need to do that and then type show options and you need to uh, you need to do this. Um, you need to set the creator, customer, and the file name. Basically, it is actually setted, but what you can do, you can use a set command and then creator and then change the name from Lucifer to any uh, any name that you are uh, that you want to choose. Okay. Once you do it, and in the same way, you can use set file name specifically to save your file. Uh, this recon.html is going to be the output file and uh, it is right now available here you can see i'm gonna show it to you how it looks like um so i'm gonna open the home and there is a file system go to the root there is a desktop and there is a recon report.html so let me open it with the firefox and i'll show you that how it looks like so you can see that it is uh, earlier i had uh, created this report and it looks like this so you can see here that I had used google.com as a domain and I had used a module no, known as a, uh, this voice box and uh, I got this information. So I have this SSL SN that I had used and you can see the information that I had um, uh, gathered. You can see this is a report previously I had used this uh, recon ng. So this type of, uh, you know, this type of uh, Oh, there is so many things. Okay, so this type of uh, report you're gonna get, and this is going to be useful in your reporting phase of ethical hacking. So I hope you like it, right? So let's say uh, one more time, if you are interested uh, that uh, your um, domain is uh, you have any social media presence or not, then you can use something like uh, let me again search for a profiler, and there is this one recon profile so let me uh, use it and okay just uh, give me a second and oh it is taking some time uh, so it'll give you that your domain is having any social media or not so let me type show options apologies from my keyboard you can see it is not set so let me uh, uh, let me give a name here. Um, uh, what you can do is you can use a citadel. Let's say this is a website. This is a domain that I am interested in. Set source. Set source citadel. And now let me run it. And when you run it, it will uh, you know uh, it will try to find uh, that the citadel is associated to any social media or not. So it will. You can see here that citadel is. Uh, in the seven cup it's checking actually so this way you can use a recon ng tool uh, for your uh, there is a profile uh, okay so you can see that it is going to find a, um, there is an error okay let me show so it's going to find a, uh, so there is a shopify there is a problem in theme forest. Theme forest is actually WordPress theme. So this is the way you can, uh, you know, find uh, information about your target. So Recon NG is one of the tools very similar to that of Maltigo. I hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next session.